What's going on guys, Team Mart here and stay along with Double XP, Black Ops 3 also received a pretty big update with a lot of different changes, especially in the multiplayer side of things. There's some multiplayer wide updates, there was balancing the specialist and the weapons and all kinds of stuff like that. So I wanted to run through and tell you guys the important stuff about what was changed how it's gonna affect the weapons you're using and, and stuff like that. So starting off with multiplayer, a huge kind of like multiplayer wide update is that they added leaderboards in barracks. So now you're gonna be able to go to the leaderboards, you're gonna be able to see all the different stats, compare them against your friends, compare them against the world and stuff like that. So obviously that's very cool and it was definitely missed from previous Call of Duties. They've also added in a new multiplayer wide update where you're gonna be able to earn more crypto keys. So if you guys don't know, crypto keys are earned by getting wins in games. It's all about time played and getting wins gets you a slight bonus. But now there's another bonus where you will earn more after playing consecutive matches in the same playlist. So if you're playing, you know, Kill Confirmed, just play a bunch of Kill Confirmed in a row, keep getting wins, and you're gonna get more and more crypto keys. So uh, that's kind of cool. Now, uh, also they did update Search and Destroy where kills are now worth 500 XP instead of that 250 which is uh, is really good because it's double xp weekend so now technically you're going to be getting 1000 xp per kill in search and destroy at least for this weekend which is uh, is really crazy to think about so that's pretty good and it's definitely a, a good choice for ranking up we're actually going to do a how to rank up fast video tomorrow so make sure you guys look out for that because i do have some really good tips for you guys now uh, moving on let's talk about the kind of like balancing they did with this patch update that's always the one thing i'm the most interested in they actually changed a lot of the specialists and they and even more of the weapons so uh, it's pretty interesting now uh, in terms of a specialist wide update you're gonna earn your specialist weapons and abilities at a quicker rate in objective modes now so all the specialists across the board in objective modes you're gonna start to earn them a little bit more quickly so you will notice that I've already noticed that myself uh, in terms of individual specialists and how they balance them Outriders Vision Pulse is now earned slightly faster, so if you like that, that's a good thing for you. Uh, Nomad's Rejack is earned slightly slower, which is, uh, you know, it's kind of a nerf to Rejack. I don't really like the, the you know, ability. Some people do. I don't know. I just, I, I don't think it belongs in Call of Duty, so I'm happy about that. And then also his Hive Gun now has a slightly reduced range in, like, where it activates. So you have to be even closer to, like, the Hive Pod uh, for it to get you, which is, uh, is you know, I don't know. I, I don't really see that too much, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, next up, Reaper's Scythe ammo has been reduced from 200 to 160. Uh, honestly, the Reaper's Scythe, like, I remember how good that thing was in the beta, and I, I, I feel like it's not nearly as good in this full version of the game, so I'm not quite sure why they, uh, you know, reduced that, but, uh, you know, I guess they know better than we do. And then finally, Firebreak's Heat Wave is now earned slightly slower. So this is one that I've used a little bit of. It's actually pretty powerful, but I don't feel like it was OP at all. So it's another one where I'm like, oh, you want to make it take longer to get? That's kind of interesting, but, uh, you know, they're the devs. That's why. They're, you know, they're, they're better at making games than we are. So uh, anyway, those are the updates for the specialists. Now, moving on to the weapons, this is by far the biggest weapons update patch we've had so far, and a ton of different weapons were affected. Literally every single class, except for the sniper rifles, had a ton of changes to it. So, uh, buck your seatbelts, we're going in. Now, starting off here with the SMGs, the VMP ADS time and hipfire spread were slightly increased to match the other SMGs, so it's not like it's got the biggest out of all of them, it's just now even with all the other SMGs. And honestly, I still think it's one of the best guns in the game. Game, so it's a very solid choice even though it's slightly nerfed here it's it's still you know one of the best uh, next up the Pharaoh close range damage was reduced so it's not gonna be quite as powerful at close range which I feel is pretty important that Pharaoh it's an interesting gun if you run into a room with a bunch of people in it it's not very good but if you're fighting people in groups of ones and twos it's one of the most powerful guns in the game especially up close that quick little four round burst you know one burst kill is just nuts so uh, it's not gonna happen quite as often next up the the Razorback received a buff. The range was increased. So your, you know, three shot, four shot, five shot kill ranges are all going to be a little bit longer now, which is obviously a, a pretty big deal. You know, the Razorback, it was extremely good in the beta, not quite as good at the launch of this game because it was nerfed and stuff like that, but uh, now it might be a little bit better. I'm going to have to check that thing out. Next up, the XR2. 
hip fire was increased plus there was a minor tweak to the rate of fire not sure if they increased it or decreased it if anything i would probably say they decreased it because it's a pretty strong weapon but uh, i was just using it like literally five minutes ago and it's still a good choice so I, I don't think it was affected all that much next up the hvk 30 received a buff its recoil was reduced the recoil is a little bit more manageable now and this thing has an extremely high rate of fire it's really good at short to medium range so uh you know if you're in those medium ranges and you have a little bit less recoil this thing might be a pretty good weapon now we'll definitely have to check that one out next up another cut of surprising one is the m8a7 it received a fire rate increase you're going to be able to shoot this thing even faster it's already definitely one of the best guns in the game now you're going to be able to shoot it quicker and put more bullets down range obviously that is a good thing now uh, moving on next let's take a look at the shotguns the krm 262 range was increased so hopefully we're getting you know back to that like Remington R870, you know, that thing was a beast back in Black Ops 2. Hopefully the KRM is going to get close to that. Uh, the Haymaker 12 fire rate and damage were slightly reduced. I'm kind of sad about that. I really like the Haymaker, but I do feel like it was a little bit OP. So uh, it feels a little bit, you know, close to where it should be now. Next up, the Argus ADS time was increased, so it's going to take longer to ADS, but its close range damage was also increased. And this thing is absolutely a monster at close range already, so uh, it's going to be even better, which is, uh, you know, if you like single shot shotguns, you're really going to like that. Now, uh, next up, talking about LMGs, there was one kind of like game wide LMG update, and that's that the quick draw attachment is slightly less effective on the LMGs now. It's not going to make you aim down sight as quick as it used to, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, also, the BRM. ADS speed was slightly reduced, the Dingo recoil was reduced, the Gorgon magazine was reduced by 10 bullets, ADS time was reduced, and has increased recoil, and has an increased hip fire spread, so that thing was hit pretty hard, and then finally the last one, the 48 dredge, also has an increased ADS time, so the LMGs were nerfed pretty hard there, you know, pretty much all of them, especially that Gorgon really got the shaft. And then finally, for secondaries, the Elkar 9 close range damage was reduced, and I feel like that was an absolute must. That thing, if you guys haven't used it, is essentially an SMG, except it's a sidearm, and it's just, it's it's way, 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 way too good. So I'm glad they did something about that. And uh, then finally, last but not least, there was one change to our equipment, and that's that the thermite grenade lethality was reduced. So you're going to have to stand in a thermite grenade for a little bit longer now. To, uh, to actually die from it, so it's not quite as effective. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Just some uh, some major notes here. The Razorback had a pretty good buff. The M887 and HBK30 had pretty good buffs. The uh, the Gorgon had an insane, like, reduction. Like, that thing was heavily nerfed. And uh, all the other ones just kind of had slight changes. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Go out, try out that Razorback, try out that HBK, try out that M887. Let me know what you guys, you know, kind of, like, get from it. If you guys really like them a lot more now, be interested to see what you guys have to say. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two videos if you haven't seen yet. Peace out, guys.